Today on Outside the Box Reviews, we are taking a look at the Soda Toys, now playing Killer Clown figure, based on the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space. If you haven't seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space, well, you're missing out, but it is a fantastic horror comedy about killer clowns from outer space. A few years back, I'd picked up the more recent Amok Time figure of a killer clown, but I'd always wanted to go back and pick up this figure from Soda because it looked so freaking cool. So let's take a closer look. The clown comes with a display base. There's a black piece of plastic here. We have a star with the two pegs coming out of it. Then we have this kind of column coming up the side. It's a hollow piece, but I think it's supposed to represent a full column with the pink and green stripes on it. And then we have a hook here up at the top. The hook is used to hold our imprisoned human in cotton candy, which looks pretty good. The cotton candy doesn't really look too cotton candy-ish, but I don't think it really did in the movie either. So we have this kind of caution flag looking piece at the top with a big metal hook. I like that they add some black wash to it to make it look dirty and rusted. And then this big pink ball with some purple shading over top. And then a fairly bland human face sticking out of it, but I think it works all right for what this accessory is. I also like that it's not a very uniform looking piece. It does kind of have a more organic feel to it, but I don't know, kind of looks like Grimace. So then we could take that hook and we could just hook our cotton candy person right on there and have them displayed on the base. Clown also comes with a popcorn gun, which is really cool. You got some stripes up here on the barrel, all kinds of weird little adornments to it in red, this bright red, almost lip looking piece for the barrel of it. Cool little trigger down here. It's all kinds of random crap. I don't think any of it's supposed to make sense. It's not worth saying what I think it might be. Then we have this clear dome up here at the top, and if you shake it around, you can see there's actually popcorn pieces in there, which is fantastic. I love that detail. So cool. And this gun fits pretty easily in the clown's hand. It just slides right in there. The trigger goes right behind his finger, which is fantastic. And then he has that secondary grip, and you just slide his other hand on there, and he holds the gun really well. I'll mention right up front here that this, I believe, is the most common version of this clown. Just like a muck time, Soda had variants on this figure. The one that I've seen actually in package confirmed that it really existed is a bluer version of this figure that comes with a bat instead of the popcorn gun. I believe he has the exact same display base. I've seen pictures of one of the larger clowns, a very different looking clown on a very different display base. As far as I know, that one never was released because I've never seen a picture of it in package. But if you're going to hunt this figure down, this version here is the one you're most likely to find. The head sculpt is awesomely grotesque. He has this big bulbous nose, the creepy smile with the teeth behind it. The blue makeup around his eyes looks great, and his eyes themselves look just demented. He's got a bunch of red hair sticking out. There's a little bit of black shading in it, but not quite as much as I'd actually like it to have. And the shape of the head is just great. All the weird wrinkles, the big ears, the tiny neck. Very much captures that killer clown look from the film. With his ruffled collar around his neck, also looking really nice. It's kind of a separate piece here rubberized. It's yellow up top, then pink in the middle with the black stripe around the edge. Everything very clean. Then we have his striped shirt, which has a bunch of different colors. You got orange, black, pink, blue, just looking really crazy and colorful. A lot of great wrinkles in here, and I feel like the stripes look really good as they kind of curve as it contours to the body. We have his big white gloves with the red painted fingernails, which is a funny touch. Little buttons going down the front which are yellow with a pink border. Going on the back, just more of the same, more wrinkles and everything. We have his big baggy pants. I guess they're not really pants. He's kind of wearing just a one-piece suit. And they come in real tight here around the ankles, and then his big clown shoes. And of course, peg holes at the bottom of his feet, two different sizes to match up with what the base has. For articulation, for being an older figure, he's not too bad. We have a ball joint at the base of the neck, so you can look a little up and down, side to side, as well as tilt. We have a pin socket shoulder, so they'll go out to the side, as well as forward and back. Because that collar is rubberized, you can actually move without being hindered by that. We have a cut joint here at the elbows, which is okay. It's what I'd expect for a figure from 2006. We have a cut joint also at the wrist. Nothing through the body, not too upset just because of the way it's sculpted. And then he has a cut joint here at either foot. And here's the killer clown next to the Amok Time version. The Amok Time version, despite being a heavily flawed figure, is still one of my favorite pieces in my collection, just visually. And I think the Soda version fits in perfectly alongside him. There's enough differences between these two that make them fun to have next to each other. And it makes me want to get the variant of each that much more just to fill out my Killer Clowns ranks. It's very unfortunate it doesn't seem like any other Killer Clown figures are going to get produced anytime soon, because I would love to build up an army of these crazy guys. 
I really, really enjoy this figure. It's an older figure. All the Soda Toys figures remind me a lot of the NECA Cult Classics line. They are lacking a lot of the modern articulation. They're very much kind of statue pieces. But I absolutely love this piece. It helps that I'm a big fan of the movie. That definitely is an influence on it. But the diorama is so cool. The popcorn gun is nuts. And the overall sculpt and paint on the clown is fantastic. So this figure gets a high recommend from me. Unfortunately, it's kind of rare these days and you're probably gonna have to pay a decent amount on eBay to pick one up. But if you're a fan of the movie, he's worth it. He's really freaking cool. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, username Outside the Box Reviews. Also check me out on Facebook, link below. And until next time, this has been our Outside the Box Reviews and I'm not clowning around.